This is the Mill Hill School Building Committee meeting, Tuesday, June 8th, 2021, at 6.03. We're going to start the agenda with the opening of the Pledge of Allegiance. Uh, Jeremy, you care to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance? Sure. Uh, Pledge of Allegiance to the flag, the United States of America, to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. No pressure on anything, Jeremy. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Testing my memory there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Second on the agenda, the approval of the meeting minutes. Are there any one that needs to do an addition or an edit to the meeting minutes? From 525. This is Norm. Motion to approve. Do we have a second? Heather, second. All in favor of approving the minutes for 525, say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain. Okay. Mimi is approved. Number three, project update. Rob? Yep. Thanks, Jason. Uh, so just starting off in CAC, that's the existing classroom uh, renovation. So at this point, we're basically complete with our above ceiling and ceiling grid. Um, we have the flooring revisions done inside the classrooms, and we've actually started painting the classrooms through the uh, priming in the first, uh, first coat. Um, so at this point in C, we also started up on the roof. Um, so over the weekend, we were able to take the old ballast off, uh, the old stone, and we're going to start re-roofing that uh, area C existing roof this Saturday. All the material is on site, so it's a matter of just, you know, kind of waiting, doing it off hours when school is out of session. But we'll jump on that CC and probably do a, about a third of it this weekend. Um, what that means is we got to take off the existing roof and then actually put the new roof down um, so that it's watertight. We, we start the demo in the morning and then re-roof it the same day so we always keep it watertight. Um, Moving into phase D, so that's the admin area in the front lobby. Uh, at this point, the f exterior framing is substantially complete. We've started the brick and should be wor uh, wrapping up and finishing that brick next week. On the interior side, we have the interior framing done, the slab and fill is done at the, um, the slab on grade for the addition and the slab and fill is done where the old blue stone in the existing entry was. Um, and we're basically working almost done with in-wall rough, and we'll be starting to sheetrock that hopefully um, beginning of next week. So we're moving right along and kind of targeting getting through um, in-wall inspections and starting ceiling grid before the end of the month in D. Uh, moving over to the platform, so we have the brick basically done. We'll be done with the brick this week. There's a couple... Last little finishing touches, we have to finish a couple more courses on one elevation in a little area up on the roof that um, we had some abatement work happening this past weekend. So that's complete and will let us finish up the existing on the roof. And then we're just preparing for the summer work um, and getting ready to jump into the summer. We also will be starting the kitchen addition next week. So we have the demolition contractor lined up for this weekend to take down the old little, um, there was like a little outbuilding that they used for uh, deliveries, and there were a couple uh, refrigerators and some storage in that space. We were able to kind of relocate that, refeed it as necessary, and we're prepared that the demo guy contractor can take down that building this weekend, and that will allow us to start foundations, um, basically complete foundations next week and start on that last little section of steel on uh, Monday the 21st, right, when school's out. So moving right along, we also met with Ty and Bond in Cisco today, um, which is the remediation contractor, looking at the um, soil remediation in the back. So we started coordinating that work and are on track to have that start. Um, right when school ends, 
you know, the last week of June, and then that will probably progress for two to three weeks and be completed by uh, mid, mid-July at this point. So busy, busy on site and going to get busier in about two weeks when school is out. Any questions for Rob? No, keep up the good work. Looks good. Yeah, yeah. appreciate it, Rob. Yep, same. All right, moving on to number four, approval of invoices. Mark? Motion to approve. It's Norm. Second, Heather. Okay. All in favor, say aye. 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 Any other? Opposition? Okay. Mark, you want to give us an update? Maybe he's on mute. Mark? Can you hear me now? Yes, go ahead. Okay. There are five invoices. Uh, Gilbain, invoice 17 for... $713,279.65. Uh, let's take it to about 60%, 60% complete. Uh, Van Zelm, there are two for the commission. There are two Van Zelms, one for the commissioning and one for the tester and balancer. Uh, the commissioning is uh, $2,296.08, and the tester and balancer is $5,743. And 17 cents, and then the two WB Myers, um, the 1,050 is for the storage, the interior storage at their facility of the, um, we'll call them excess items uh, that were removed due to COVID, and then the 550 is for the trailer up at Giant Steps for the furniture that was in excess. So the total of the five is $722,918.90. Any questions or discussions for Mark? Okay, so basically what I need now, and I apologize before, we asked for the a motion for the approval of the invoices. It's actually a motion for uh, discussion, which we already have. So now I need a motion for approval of the invoices to, to vote yes or no. I'll make a motion, okay. Melanie. Melanie? Second norm. Second norm. All in favor yep. of the approval of the invoices, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstain? Okay, the approvals, the invoices have been approved. Uh, on agenda number five, we need the approval of the ATPs. Mark, go ahead. Okay, there's only one of them. And it was uh, a little bit of a Chinese menu. The um, There are what I labeled essentially option one and option two. Uh, what it is is they're on the side of the back parking lot that uh, parallels Mill Hill Road. The contract called for clearing, called for clearing and grubbing of the vegetation, and when they did that, there was a stone wall discovered in there. Um, so this ATP has to deal is dealing with that stone wall uh, to to actually remove the tree stumps from the tr- uh, from the fell- fallen trees. The if we just yank them out of there, the stones would go all over the place. So this is the it, it, it kind of gave us a couple options here. The 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 first option which is not listed in the overall ATP is just what I label as one 
for the removal of the stones and stockpile them on site. That is contingent upon someone in, someone else, meaning the town, uh, removing them from site. So that was approximately five thousand dollars. The second option is for <clears throat> and goes along with the removal of the stones from the berm is the trucking or the disposal of these rocks by Colo Sal, which is approximately $9,000. So the ATP in, you have in front of you for $15,637 is for uh, both options, basically for Colo Sal to remove them and dispose of them. Uh, there, the, the third option is to rebuild the wall, to remove the stones, and then rebuild it after the tree stumps have been removed. Uh, that that price was, and, and Rob, correct me if I'm wrong, was in the neighborhood of five hundred. Oh, sorry, fifty thousand dollars. No, fifty thousand dollars just to rebuild that wall in the same location. That was not presented. We we presented just the removal of the stones and the stone wall by Colo Sal for $15,000. Before I ask for a motion for opening up for discussion, let's avoid moving forward uh, using racial insensitive remarks and comparing uh, certain items on agendas. I would appreciate that. I know it's not done in hate, but we just got to break that example. So now I'm going to ask for a motion for discussion for approval of, uh, for discussions of the ATPs. Move to discuss, Norm. Do I have a second? Yeah, second, Heather. Thank you. Let's uh, open up for discussion. Any members of the committee? Mark, it's Norm. I thought yes. you said that so the, the, the removal option is a total of $9,000 in addition to... I didn't understand where you came up with the 15. Thought it was five to take it take it all and pile it up, and nine yep. to truck it off. To truck, correct. So it's an additional nine to truck it off. It's not just an correct. additional four to truck it off. Correct. Wow. So it's the com it's the combination of the two to remove them from the berm, and to truck it off is is the combination of the two of the fourteen thousand dollars. Which with the with the overhead and with the markup from Gilbane is fifteen thousand. Okay. And nobody from, I guess, the town doesn't want the wall. That's the way. When I was reading through the documents, it kind of seemed like the, the wall's been there for over a hundred years. The town wants the wall to be there or something. I don't. You know, I couldn't figure it out. No, the, the I walked the site with Sal, and he and the school is not interested in in it. Okay. So that's it. Norm, it's 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 David Stein. I I I walked with them too. I mean, there's really not a we're calling it a wall. Um, I wouldn't visualize it as being a you know a linear stacked wall. It a, you know, it appears that at one time this was, you know, this was placed as a buffer between the road and the property, but they're not, they're, they're, it's not stacked in any sort of uniform manner, and the vegetation growth sort of worked around it. I think if it was more uniformed, it would have been, you know, you you would have been able to see it in a, in a, as an identified marker. It's really just looked like stones were placed there arbitrarily. So we're using the word wall, but I think that's a, <laughs> a loose term when you see what was there because all that was pulled back was just vegetation. The wall, the wall is not sort of a structural linear stacked piece. Yeah, there's there's uh, one picture, David. It just looks like a pile of rocks, really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a better like way of off. describing it. Yeah, that's a better uh, uh, yeah. way of describing it. I saw the pictures. I just, uh, I just, that's. The, I thought the description said something about being a hundred years old. Whatever. So it's five grand to take it, take it all apart, and nine to to ship it away. Yes. 
Yeah, that's our estimate from our contractors. So ultimately, we're just looking for which direction, you know, with authorization to proceed, we're, we're just kind of looking for direction of where we want to head with this. We can re, um, revisit the quote and just make sure that he's not, you know, charging. Because of the time frame, we want to make sure we got this in front of you guys to discuss it. Ultimately, we can revisit that and see if we can bring him down a little bit on the trucking and see what's driving yeah. it to that value. And the other do we have any do, do we have any idea historically like where where it came from or is there is there any is there any historical significance to it or that we know? We can find out. Yeah, I mean, further investigation could be looked into that. When a phase one was done of the property and you looked at how that was, so there there was some history of that property. I just think it was from the original piece, whether that's historical in any nature. I don't believe we're bound by anything there, but you, we, we do know the history of the property that was done through the phase one analysis. Um we we can reach out to the town to see if there's any other identified marker, but at the moment there was nothing that was shown through the survey or anything like that. Okay. Yeah, and, and the picture we showed of that one kind of remaining section, that was probably the most that resembled the law. When you really look at the other pictures, you can see they're not, they're, it just seemed like it was almost, Maybe when they were doing site, they just, the original construction of the school, maybe they just took extra boulders and put over there. But it, it's, it didn't resemble like some of the 1700 walls. And Dave jumped in if you think I'm misspeaking. But it, it seemed to be kind of, you know, maybe from the renovation. It didn't really seem to be like a historical law from like the 1800s. Yeah, it's probably more with more of the original construction, just as you said, just piling rocks over there. Um, so, what is the yeah. intent uh, in terms of landscaping there? The final. So that area, I believe, just gets seeded, and that's kind of why we brought this up. If we were to leave it in the current condition, it would, the the that section of area wouldn't be able to be maintained because it's not level. So if we just went and seeded it in the condition we were, they wouldn't be able to mow it because they'd be going around all the rocks. So that's kind of what prompted, you know, kind of the question. One, so we can finish the clearing and grubbing, and two, so we could actually go in and grade it to something that would be kind of mowable. Uh, how close, like, can you just explain exactly where on the property it is? I'm sorry, I don't have the paperwork in front of me. It's when you come up from the baseball field on your left, the island between the main road and the current parent drop off. Oh, okay, so that whole all area. Gr Sorry. Overgrown. Yeah, and actually, if you Google image as of like two weeks ago, if you did the street view, you could go down and see it prior to the start of construction, and you could basically see it was all overgrown. And I think that same one little section of wall that's in the photo is like the only section that you could actually see you know before the clearing because I went back to kind of check our pre-con photos and to see what it looked like before and it just what you couldn't see it it didn't there wasn't anything visible from the road well I mean it looks like it looks like the drain oh. go ahead uh, it looks like there is only a small segment uh, by the drain, um, by that tree. Uh, it doesn't look like you have anything. Is that basically what you have? You have a little segment there. It looks like maybe 20 feet tops. So, in the, but to the left and right of that small section, that still there's loose rock. Um, so basically, when they clear, when they started clearing and grubbing and cutting the trees, you could they were. They didn't want to disturb any more of it, but if you go up and down, you can see there is some, there is some rock and there's some lower elevations where you could see there's still like a course or two at the base. 
So it's longer yeah. than that, just that section. It kind of started up closer to the trailer and ran down towards the baseball field. I mean, can we, does it make sense to keep a little bit of it, just sort of like it was there, we're not touching it, done? And then yeah. the rest looks like it's know. big, I mean. big the rest looks like it's big pieces. The rest looks like it's rubble, right? I mean, it's just stuff. Maybe the architect can advise on that. I don't know. It's very, it's very random. So to sort of curate which ones we pick, I guess we we could do that with the contractor. But it's it is really very random in its position, and it does run majority of the length. There's different conditions all all over. Um, there's some vegetation. There's some trees that there's now some dead roots. So, you know, the thought was that we clear it as best we can, and, yes, yeah, some of that, I guess, could try to remain the best we can. If the town's going to maintain a portion of it, it would – I think it would be in the town's best interest to have more uniformity than a randomness because it's going to be difficult to maintain around around it because it's not just a linear a linear wall. But we could have we explored we could explore just that. getting like a, a quote to have it like loosely restacked. It looks like we need our but kind of keep the aesthetics for the neighborhood. My my question was, um, yeah, more in line with what Melanie just said. Like, is there is first of all, is this the only um, part on the property where something like this exists, or is there something else on the perimeter that's similar anywhere? I don't believe there's there in any other condition that's like this. Any other exposed wall? We don't okay. have anybody from the other street front. Um, and yeah, like I don't think old. there's anything in the back of property. There, 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 it's possible there's maybe something in the back by the playground, but we're not doing any development there, so we haven't walked back there. But I guess to answer your question, I don't believe there is. If we, often, is there a place we can move it to, like Melanie said, and loosely stack it, even if we push it back, because like, I understand the maintenance perspective and needing to mow easily, and if you're leveling the grade, then can we just loosely stack it and move it back, like toward the road, not toward the parking lot? Like, I don't know. We, we, no, we can. Not. I mean, let, let me ask you something, because uh, it seems like there's some concern. If we don't approve this tonight, will this hold up any of the projects in the summer? Is this something that we have to agree on tonight? Yeah, so ultimately we're trying to get it in front of the committee because as we start that um, driveway rework where the current parent drop-off is, as we recurb the area, so as we do all that summer work, we need to address the berm. And typically what you do is before, you know, obviously before we get into the finishes and all that kind of stuff, we want to address that so we're not driving through the, you know, the new prepped parking lot and or driving over pavement. So that's why we're looking at it as something that would start with the summer renovation. So um, what is the... This is something we can't table and let the committee members go on site and really have a look at it and see it and then make a judgment off of that? Or this needs to be approved tonight for the eight, for the last day of school so we can really get going? If you table it, we would maybe need a special meeting to try to get approved prior. Um, I think our okay. next building committee would be that Tuesday the 22nd, you know, as Correct. we're in the summer. Um, so we would probably have to meet before that. Before well, the, I, I, the, thing, the thing is, I mean, we're talking about a, what is the recommendation that, you know, because, I mean, we're not going to – I mean, I can make a judgment, but I don't think anybody – I mean, we just need to know what the recommend, professional recommendation is. Are we keeping a little segment or are we um, – 
I don't know that we, I mean, we can spend, you know, we can go around on, on this. What is the professional recommendation right now with the wall? So we can, you know, you gave us pricing, but what is the, what is recommended professionally to deal with this? We can go and look at it all we want. Did Eris have an opinion or, or not? This this um this is this is David Stein. It, it comes down to cost. Um, I and ultimately to try to even loosely stack a wall, you need a mate. You, you need a, a a qualified mason to be able to do that in 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 an artful way. So it's so it's safe and so forth. So you know, to me, it comes down to the cost and the added value of it. It really looks like it was a random stockpiling. Um, and based on the topography and where it is, I think it's in the best interest to clear out as much of that rock as you can and cut down the vegetation that was overgrown. I think it's going to improve the site, the site line for traffic and queuing because right now it's, it was very overgrown. And, you know, the, the town wants as minimal maintenance as possible. So we don't want to create something that's going to need to be a bit more manicured. So our overall recommendation would be to clear most of this. We'll look to see whether we could potentially just keep a portion of it so we at least honor something that was there. But to try to create a wall and say that we're going to loosely do it, that's going to be a fairly expensive thing. And obviously we're just, we know you're concerned about budget and so are we. Um, so that's that's where the architect is coming from. Yeah, I very much yeah, agree me. with what David said. I like the idea of uh, clearing most of it, but maybe having a nod somewhere where there's an opportunity to keep a small portion of it or something like that. I think because I see the pictures and I get what you're saying, and I also think that the maintenance okay. is important to think about. Yeah, I'm good with that. Jeremy, I, I agree with that as well. Yeah. Good with me. Norm, any questions? Uh, in any event, whether they keep whether some of it, keep a piece of it, or or get rid of the whole thing, does it have to be completely removed in order for you guys to do what you need to do and then put back? No, it, it doesn't have to be put back. We just need to take it out, and then it becomes a question of does do you the put it back town or want it the stone, and we leave it somewhere on site where they remove it, or if it's if, or if it's something that we just remove. Or they could obviously kind of take it and do a separate wall project, I suppose. But okay, but that stuff needs to be out of there for you guys to work. So that's the part of it that we have to decide on a, on a, you know, a time sensitive basis and then what's going to happen with it. Maybe we can kick that out. If, if, if we table it tonight, we have to do a special meeting before the 18th, which is the last day of school. Right. So my question is, can we, can we just agree to get the stuff taken away today and then whether or not it's going to get put back, trucked away, not trucked away or whatever, can we kick that piece of it down the line? Do, do the $5,000 remove and stockpile? Yeah. And, then if, that, yeah. and then come back on the 22nd? If, that, if that's going to allow Gilbane to do what they need to do and address their issue of we need these rocks out of here so we could work. So then what you're saying is, we agree on them moving the rocks, but you want us to keep the rocks on site until we decide as a committee what to do with them and maybe truck out later at a later date or spread out on the property? Is that what I'm hearing? Yeah, yeah as long as it doesn't impede upon Gilbane's progress. Yeah, I just want those guys to be able to work. Yeah, I mean, I think, David, I think, uh, David, you should just point out the sec the sections that look like they may be able to keep there and then just get rid of everything else. I mean, I don't know. I don't think we need to foster. 
I mean, you already evaluated. It doesn't look like it's. It looks like they put a parking. The parking up there, they probably bulldozer and and there. If there is anything remaining, it's, it may just be a couple of things. So we we'll, we should respect that and keep the little segments or segment that was there, and then just do. You know, the other stuff looked like it was just moved around when they did the parking. So we will um, we'll, we'll evaluate that and, and make sure that we don't um, create too much of double handling costs because that's the one thing we don't want to do. We don't want to spend 5000 move all the rock, and then, you know, then we only decide we're only going to keep 10% of it. So we'll try to be as efficient as, you know, as possible. Correct. To um, to not create double handling charges, you know, in the future. So, uh, I'll I'll work with Rob and we'll we'll come up with a recommendation. That makes sense. Okay, that, that that would be my next question. If we don't move it now, how much will it cost if we have to move it then? Okay, so do we want to have a vote with? A contingent to this vote, or are we able to vote? What is the committee feeling? I would like to uh, vote on the part that's necessary for there to be no interruption in the work. So we need to make an amendment to this approval, I believe. It's Jason, it's Nancy. It sounds to me like that was Norm, right, Norm? It yes, sounds to yep. me like, like Norm is moving to approve option one. Is that correct? Sounds like it. Sorry, I'm in my car. I don't even have my papers with Okay, me. so Norm <laughs> is moving to approve the option up without the trucking away of the, the rock. Okay. Yeah, and so that's option one. That. Uh, and your name? What? That was Heather. Heather, thank you. Okay. Why so can't we, we? Sorry, no, no. I'm sorry. Can we just truck him away? Just why don't we just let David decide which segment we keep, and then we just truck everything away and get done. That's another option yeah. too. Okay, there's a, there's a motion, so it's either going to carry or fail to carry, and then you can make another motion, because there's a motion well, on the floor right now. Can, can Hector offer that as an amendment, and then we can vote on that? Uh, I offered that. Uh, we, we can. We can. What well, we can kind of change is so we're going to make a, a – a, amend the, the motion, what we want to do is approve option one with Mr. Stein making the final decision? I think it was option with... two. I think it was option two with Mr. Stein making the decision on what remains, what segment, I guess if any remains and the rest of it gets trucked away. Are committee members comfortable with that option? Absolutely. That's good with me. Good with me. Norm, are you okay, okay with so that? Okay, so how does this sound? Okay. Move to approve option two with the friendly amendment that uh, architect David Stein and Silver Petroselli architect will identify if there is a portion of the wall that can remain without impacting the project progress. Does that sound good? Yes. All right, that's it. that's how so, I'm going to write it. Okay, so do I have a motion for that second option that Nancy just nicely read out? This is Jeremy. Yeah. I'll make a motion. Perfect. Do I have second. a second? No, no one second. All in favor yeah. of the second option, say aye. 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 Uh, days. Abstention. Okay, we've approved the ATP option two. Approval of OCL 12. Mark? Sorry about that. Uh, there are, the OCL 12 is for five ATPs that were approved in the month of March. Uh, 
ATP44, which is for the chasing for the fin tube radiation. Uh, ATP086, which is the existing principal office wall. ATP101, which is phase C, wire mold, existing GSCI outlets and clocks. ATP096, which is phase C, room A108 plumbing. Uh, research line, and then ATP094, which is the existing uh, domestic water pipe, pipes leaking in the tunnel. For all five of these, these are existing conditions that were discovered during construction. Um, these ATPs were vetted by SPA and Colliers and found to be acceptable. And they were the ATPs were individually approved, and this is just for um, to extend Gilbane's contract in the in the dollar amount. Do, do I have a motion for open for discussion? I'll make a motion to discuss, Melanie. Do, do I have a second? Second, Norm. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Uh, questions for Mark? Any questions no for questions. Mark? No questions. In that case, do I hear a motion for a, for a vote? All in favor of approval, OCO 12, say aye. 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 Abstention? Okay, approval of OCO 12 has been approved. Number seven on the agenda, discussion meeting schedule. I'm obviously going to keep everyone in the loop. Um, it would be ideal to have meetings face-to-face. -face. I believe that's what the town is leaning to once school is out. So of course, like everything else, that changes these days. Uh, but we're going to say the next meeting will be face-to-face -face as a location to be determined. Um, as we are going into the summer, let me know what you're, when you guys are going to go away on vacation. Um, I, 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 uh, what's different with me is I don't want you calling in and taking time away from your family to call in for an hour or so. Uh, your vacation, like everyone else, is uh, earned, especially in the past few years. So you earn it. You should take it. We'll make adjustments to the meetings if I don't have a quorum due to vacation. Um, also, expect a le email from... Our secretary, Nancy, she's going to ask for an updated cell phone number and for uh, an email that she will have in her possession, and you tell her if, she, if it's okay to post it on the town website uh, under the committee names and stuff. Otherwise, they'll stay within the committee. Um, any questions or any new business or concerns before we call from the German? Um, I have one thing. Um, I have... A suggestion. Um, a couple of parents uh, asked if we could post on our website um, some of the renderings of what the school will look like. I know we were supposed to have boards made up, but because of COVID, nobody can actually see what the final product, you know, project looks like. Looks like. We can look into that and, and even post it on our on the building committee site on the town site. Yeah, I that's what, that's what I'm saying. Yep. Okay. Um, we can definitely do that, I believe. And I will follow up with uh, David Stein and Gilbain on how we can do that, and we can get it posted up there. Any other questions? Okay. Uh, do I have a motion for adjournment? Motion to adjourn, Heather. Heather second. Mr. Ackley second. And Heather first. All in favor of adjournment? Aye. 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 And we are adjourned. Thank you. Have a good night. Thanks, everyone. Thank have a good night. Okay. Good night. Thanks, Thanks, everyone. Thanks. Have a good night. Thank you. Have a good night.